Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video here on What's Wildlife. Today, guys, it is our first morning out in Yellowstone National Park. Um, I'm headed down into Hayden Valley today. Going to look for something to photograph. Hopefully grizzly bears or wolves, but that would be very lucky. Probably going to be more like bison or coyotes, something like that. But we'll see what we can find. It's about 530 in the morning. The sun rises in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to get on down there real quick. And um, hopefully we'll have something good to photograph um, for our first sunrise here in the park. So... We're here, first vlog in Yellowstone. Let's not waste any time. Let's get going right now. All right, guys, so we just had a great gray owl out here. That's the first one I've seen this season. Um, super cool. I think I have some awesome shots of that. Um, I haven't updated in a while, but we were in Hayden Valley the other day, had some awesome lighting out there. You saw some of those shots. And um, I haven't really had much luck with wolves or bears up here yet, but uh, that owl encounter made up for it. That was pretty incredible, and I think got some awesome shots there. So um, yeah, that was amazing. Uh, we got a little bit of light left, so I'll probably cruise around a little more this evening and see what we can find. I'm going to go up to Lamar in the coming days, and I'm also going to go back down to the Tetons um, within this vlog sometimes. So we'll see what else we can find, but finally, I think we got some great wildlife photos here in Yellowstone for the first time so far this year. So that was pretty amazing, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see more great grays as the season goes on and um, get to photograph more. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, later on and keep you updated on uh, what we're photographing.
Okay guys, so I'm out here again um, where the great gray owl was at last night and he's out here again hunting. He's literally maybe 20 yards in ahead of me in this tree, maybe even 15 yards. Like he's super close right now. I'm getting frame filling shots of him and um, I didn't approach him, he approached me. Like I sat down in this field, wanted to get a nice low angle beneath him. So I got came down off the hill into this field and I sat down and he flew right to literally right here in front of me. He's sitting in this tree hunting right now. Um, and I'm trying to keep it as quiet as I can to let him hunt um, peacefully. But yeah, he, he, he made the approach here. Been trying my best not to chase him, to just, you know, let him hunt and everything. Um, but yeah, he came right up here and I've been getting some beautiful shots. So this is incredible. We now know this great gray owl frequents this area, which I've actually kind of already knew that. I'd heard it before. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I think, got some great ones. So I'm going to stop talking now and keep getting shots. Um, this is an awesome encounter. So definitely want to get some incredible shots of this owl. And um, yeah, this is just amazing. So I'm going to go now and keep shooting. So today guys, for the first time this season, I'm headed over to Lamar Valley. You guys know this is my favorite area of the park and um, it is awesome for wildlife photography and wildlife viewing. Um, basically everything that lives in the park is in Lamar Valley somewhere. Um, so it's gonna be really awesome. Cannot wait to get over there. I've never been over there during this like spring time of year. So it should be awesome to see all the red dogs really small and all that stuff. It's gonna be incredible. I'm super excited to get over there. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then we're gonna head out and um, hopefully have an epic day of wildlife photography in Lamar Valley. Okay guys, so we made it up here to Lamar Valley and um, we're actually past Lamar Valley now. We're up near uh, Soda Butte Creek and there's this big herd of bison up here by the road. Um, there's some little bitty red dogs out there that have been running around, which is pretty cool. Um, great mountain views up here. But um, our plan is to spend the evening looking for wolves and um, then probably photographing some of the bison with the red dogs out here um, somewhere in Lamar Valley. So it's pretty awesome. We made it up here. This is easily my favorite part of the park forget how great it is every time I come and um yeah so we're up here now and probably gonna go back down to Slough Creek to look for wolves here soon and then we'll come back down into the valley at sunset to photograph pronghorn and bison and whatever else we can find here.
So guys, it is now Sunday and to end out this vlog, I'm gonna be heading down to Grand Teton for the next two days. I have the next two days off and I'm gonna head down there and um, do some truck camping and looking for grizzly bears. That'll be my main goal. I wanna get a few landscape shots of the Tetons and stuff like that, but main thing will be 399 and her four cubs and um, there's another mother grizzly down there that has two cubs of the year that I really wanna photograph. Um, so that's gonna be my main goal while I'm down there. I'm gonna be spending the next two days over there and um, hopefully be photographing grizzlies. We'll see. Um, we had luck last time in the Tetons and hopefully that luck will continue. So it's about seven o'clock right now. I'm not gonna get down there until well into dark, unfortunately, but um, I'm gonna get down there, find me a place to camp and um, we'll be spending the next two days in the Tetons send out this vlog. So without any further delay, guys, let's get on the road and um, hopefully get down there in as timely manner as possible because I'm losing light very, very fast. basically just gonna sleep here for the night found a little forest service campground on the side of the road ten dollars a night for overflow parking here so I just parked in their overflow paid the money and um, I'm just gonna camp here for the next two nights um, it's just outside of the park so not too far out and um, pretty cheap camping nice place to stay and I'm just gonna camp in the back of the truck so I'm setting up camp right now it's really late at night tomorrow morning I'm gonna head out from here I've got a really cool travel shop planned of the road with like the Tetons at the end of it. I think it would be really awesome if it works out. It's been done a million times on Instagram, but I want to do my own take on it. And then also uh, grizzlies, obviously. I'm gonna be looking for grizzlies, but I also like to do pronghorn and um, you know whatever else I can find out here in Jackson Hole. We'll see, I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you guys early tomorrow morning. my god guys, 399 just killed an elk calf right off the side of the road. Okay guys, so it's been a few days, but I'm back up here in Yellowstone now, and um, this is going to be the end of the vlog, guys. This was a really, really awesome vlog. Um, obviously, the 399 and four cubs eating the elk calf was like once in a lifetime insane experience. Can't believe I got that. Um, and on the way back up from Teton, I did get in a bear jam for uh, the same four-year-old bear that I photographed in uh, the last vlog, the one where we arrived in the Tetons. Uh, I photographed her, which was really cool. Um, not, didn't really get anything good. It was harsh daylight and 
just, yeah, it wasn't a great situation, but it was cool to see her. Um, and then I came back up here. Um, and so overall, great time, great uh, first vlog here in Yellowstone, and then obviously back down in the Tetons. It was also really awesome that I met a subscriber down in the Tetons. I don't know if he would want me to say his name and disclose all that on here. Maybe, you know, he might want to keep that private, but um, if you're watching, thank you so much for subscribing and watching the content, and it was super awesome to meet you and uh, be able to talk to you. I've never met a subscriber to the channel before, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that was awesome meeting him and uh, getting to talk with him and get to know him a little bit. And um, yeah, overall, really successful vlog. Um, and I'm really happy with a lot of the photos I got, especially that great gray owl. Then obviously the 399 encounter was mind blowing. Um, but I actually, just before filming this ending segment right here, was filming for next week's vlog, the next one that you guys will see come out. And uh, I was in a bear jam for the obsidian sow and her two cubs across the road, very, very close to us. And I think I got some pretty cool video and some decent photos there. So um, you can look forward to that vlog coming up here pretty soon. But with that, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you haven't already, please do not forget to drop a like down below and comment. Let me know what you guys thought. And as always, most importantly, subscribe to be entered for the 1,000 subscriber Manatee Swim giveaway video. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thank you again for watching. And um, with that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.